Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to create a Gravatar for your blog. Now a Gravatar is basically a little avatar that will show up next to your name, but a Gravatar is made so it will be wherever you go and post, your Gravatar will always pop up next to your name. But you can also put a setting in your WordPress that will allow Gravatars to work automatically and always pop up. So we're going to go into plugins under our dashboard and we're going to go to add new. We're going to type in the word Gravatar, which is G-R-A-V-A-T-A-R, and click on Search Plugins. Now a lot of these will encourage people to sign up for their Gravatar through your site, but I want to go down to the Gravatar Favicon. And I'm going to click on Install Now. It will ask if you want to install, and you do. And it will go ahead and install it, and let's click on Activate Plugin. So our Gravatar Favicon is plugged in. So I'm going to go into my search and I'm going to put Gravatar, which is G-R-A-V-A-T-A-R, and I'm going to search. We're going to look at Gravatar.com and click on there, and we're going to look at the site and go to Get Your Gravatar Today. It's going to ask for our email address, which I'm going to go ahead and put in, and click on Sign Up. So now it sends an email to my email address and I'm going to go get it so I can come back to the site and set my password. So now I've created my account. So it's going to ask me to put in a username, a password, and sign up. Now it's going to allow me to choose an image that I want to use. So let's add one by clicking here. And I'm going to get one off my computer's hard drive. And there we go. And we're going to put in this one, which is called the Gravatar Box. And this is a function that allows your page to find what Gravatars they have, and it'll pop it up if they already have one. So let's click on Install Now and click OK. Activate our plugin, and it's activated. Now I'm going to go into Settings and under Discussion. Scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to tell it to show avatars. And if they don't have an avatar, we can either put a display logo or the Gravatar logo. I'm just going to put Mystery Man and click on Save Changes. Their Gravatar will pop up here next to their comments instead of these Invisible Man ones. So that's how you can make it so your WordPress will automatically know what someone's Gravatar is as long as they're signed in under their email address. So I hope this has helped you out. It's going to personalize your site, and I'll see you at the next tutorial. Thanks for listening.